From Washington, D.C., Roland Martin, good morning. I'm Sybil Guy. I feel as be- I feel better than a cowboy smoking weed who quit the NFL. Wow. <laughs> wow, David Irving. Okay. Can you believe that? He a cowboy. <laughs> but you please. I'd please. rather I'd rather smoke weed than to make make millions of dollars. <laughs> weed, <yeah. laughs> dumb cowboy fa- dumb cowboys. Way to go, Super Dave. Oh. Yeah. So Yeah, um, yeah. Somebody need to arrest his weed man. <laughs> Somebody need yeah. to turn his weed man into authorities. Precisely. He, he got not, his eyes on the wrong green. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's oh my goodness. I, I mean, how much com- play ball for five years yeah. and then move to Colorado, buy you a farm, and then you can just blaze the rest of you. But he is a cowboy. Uh, shout out, Tom, to Shantae Johnson. Uh, she was the Friendship Public Charter School Teacher of the Year. Uh, she was at a huge gala on Saturday night that I um, MC, and it was just great to see more than a thousand people celebrating teachers uh, at a gala. And so, shout out to Donald Hint and Pat Bradley for another great program. The sixth year I've MC their program. So, uh, Teacher of the Year, Shantae Johnson. Uh, got a big check for that, too. So, all right, folks, let's talk about uh, formerly incarcerated in Florida. As you know, the amendment passed in November and one, up, 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 upwards of one point four million people got their right to vote back. Uh, but it wasn't just a question of that. That was one phase. Now, the next phase is ensuring those folks are absolutely registered. And Desmond Mead, they are working on that, the Florida Rights Restoration uh, Commission. They're actually working on that. But not only that, they're taking them to Tallahassee tomorrow uh, to lobby. Boy, that's going to be a great day. He joins us right now. Desmond, always good to talk to you, brother. How you doing? I'm doing great, Ronald. Thank you for having me on this morning. So, we, 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 of course, we had you on talking about the initiative, but then also, of course, after it passed and then how some folks in Florida were trying to, well, we don't know how to put this thing into play. But uh, it's, it was always important to get them registered because you talk about, you know, you guys could be the most powerful uh, and impactful voting block in the 2020 presidential election to put more than a million new folks on the voting rolls in Florida could change the dynamics of the campaign. Well, there's no doubt, Roland. We, I think we are uh, the most powerful block, and, and, and we're growing uh, day by day. You know, we've been slowly registering people, uh, but I think tomorrow we're going to be making a very uh, definitive statement that, listen, a lot of people think that once we got our rights back that we weren't going to register to vote. And then some folks are like, oh, they may register, but people don't show up to vote. But the statement that we're making tomorrow is that not only are we registering, but we're going to show up in a major way in every election from now on. We even have some of our members saying that if it's a, if there's a race for a dog catcher, he's voting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Our, our people are fired up. They're they're really fired up, and and we have a new profound appreciation for the, the right to vote, and, and and we're trying to get even other people excited. You know, people who may have never lost their rights. They need to understand how important it is to to protect that right to vote and to show up and actually participate. Now, Roland, you guys the ha- last time you had Desmond on was uh, right after right after the the, the vote, and if, I don't remember exactly, but Desmond, didn't you say there was something happening where they were trying to suppress the vote? Yeah, there were there was some conversation and, and, and some concerns about uh, whether or not the governor or any of. Uh, the state elected officials are going to do something to uh, slow walk. Uh, but we have not experienced that yet. Uh, our gotta, members okay. now have already voted in elections already okay. uh, in, the, in, the, in the city of Tampa. And uh, in Duval County, they have elections coming up. And so our people have registered, uh, gotten their voter registration card. On January 23rd, I received my voter registration yes. card. You know, and so you know, as of right now, uh, there have been no obstructions whatsoever. Uh, we have a hotline that's been open since January. Uh, we have not received any complaints about people being denied the opportunity to register the vote. Desmond, you guys have uh, launched a new initiative called Can't Just Preach uh, with John Legend. It's on YouTube. Uh, here is uh, a portion of that. This is Orlando, Florida. Here and everywhere across America, returning citizens struggle 
to safely and successfully re-enter into society. The Florida Rights Restoration Coalition is changing that. They are creating a world where formerly convicted persons have a chance to succeed. A man I deeply admire and respect, Desmond Mead, is leading the way. That is so awesome. You guys, of course, are trying to raise about $50,000 over the course of a year. And so, folks, if you go to YouTube, you can actually uh, donate uh, via YouTube. Uh, Desmond, to have folks like John Legend uh, staying with you and other celebrities, I know when we were uh, focusing on getting this thing passed, we're reaching out to folks. I mean, it has to be good, them using their uh, platforms uh, to help what you're doing. Yeah, that that is amazing. You know, I, I told John the other day that his, his support for social causes is becoming legendary. And it, it's all of a great thing when you have someone of that stature to really highlight the work that you're doing. Uh, it is so important, and, and we need as many celebrities and people like you, Roland, to really spread the word because it is important for a person who have lost the right to vote and had to work hard to get it back. It's important for us to really let people know how important voting truly is, and we want to make sure in 2020 that there's a turnout like like never seen before. And how many so folks should go to Tall- Tallahassee tomorrow? Oh, how many yeah. folks should bring so, it? Uh, we, we are bringing over 700 returning citizens to the capital of Tallahassee tomorrow. And we have, I mean, the response has been so overwhelming. We have over 400 people that we had to put on a waiting list because we just simply ran out of buses mm. to uh, actually transport these people. That's a good so problem to have. Tuesday, yeah. I know, right? Tuesday uh, uh, on the 12th, it's going to be an amazing day. Uh, We have people from counties all over the state of Florida that's going to be going up to Tallahassee, and we're going to be talking to our legislators about jobs. We're going to talk to them about our felony threshold bill that is, like, crazily low, and we're going to talk to them about amendments for implementation, you know, uh, let them know that we're here, and we're not planning on going anywhere for quite some time. There is a new constituency group in Florida, and it will impact the way Florida does business and the way this country does business because Florida is such a pivotal state, even in national elections. Are you getting uh, calls still from other states, uh, seeing what you did there, saying, hey, how could we do this uh, in our state? Yeah, you know it does. Um, And for a matter of fact, in New Mexico, there's a House Bill 57 uh, that's been going through the legislation that's really uh, expanding the opportunity to for uh, people with felony convictions to vote. There's some amazing work being done in California. We, uh, Sheena and I, we were out there uh, probably a month ago uh, and really talking to some of those organizers there with Nate Justice and all of us and none. Uh, they have a measure on the ballot that they're working to put on the ballot in um, California. Uh, we know that uh, Virginia has been reaching out. So we're really trying to – people are seeing what we did in Florida. They're excited about how we led this grassroots effort and brought people together from all walks of life, all political persuasions. They want to replicate some of that work, and we're happy to work with them to get it done. And once again, we go to YouTube, and we can contribute through the YouTube video of John Legend. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Can't just preach. <laughs> yep. Can't just preach the Florida Rights Restoration uh, Coalition, folks. Uh, check it out. Go to John Legend's uh, page as well. And so, Desmond, you guys are doing an amazing job. You and your wife, uh, Sheena, uh, man, keep it up. And again, uh, just a hey, keep registering those brothers and sisters, uh, black, white, uh, Asian, uh, Latino does not matter. Y'all doing a great job. Thanks a lot. Yeah. yeah. All right, bro. Thank you. All right. Amazing work. Yeah, I like that. All right, Roland. Thanks, sir. Go on back to David Irving. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we too strong. We too strong. 